Ever since we started this show, I've dealt with a steady stream of You Ain't So Smart articles about atheism in my inbox. There are a number of liberal media organizations that are falling all over themselves to present the argument that atheists are just as bad as religious people at whatever. Doesn't fucking matter. The, the, the liberal idea of embracing diversity often wins out against the progressive ideal of honestly assessing what problems we face. So a number of outlets have tossed out some pretty flimsy arguments that try to knock us arrogant atheists down a peg. So when I see a headline like, the treasured atheist idea that reason undercuts faith just doesn't hold up, my inclination is to roll my eyes. But when I see that the byline on said article is Will Gervais, it gives me pause. Okay, so for those unaware, Will Gervais is one of the top researchers in the world on the psychology of atheism. We've referenced his research a number of times on this show, and I've never seen any indication that he's an ideologue or that he's after anything but a better understanding of religious and irreligious psychology. So when he writes an article with such a provocative headline that, by the way, pretty much directly contradicts the research he's most famous for, it behooves me to pay attention. Now, to be fair, after reading the article, I feel like the title does overstate the case. So much so that it's borderline clickbait. Okay, so the, the headline again is the treasured atheist idea that reason undercuts faith just doesn't hold up. That's not true. Okay, reason very much undercuts believing in an invisible, undetectable, loving, omnipotent ghost daddy that's watching out for you, right? That's true by definition, and nothing in the article even tries to undercut that fact. Instead, Gervais tackles the pervasive idea that rationality is sufficient to undercut faith. In other words, the idea that simply arming religious people with reason will be enough to undermine their religious preconceptions. What's more, he argues pretty convincingly that the science is on his side there. So, so let's start where his research started. In 2010, Gervais and his advisor, Aaron Noren Zion, and I apologize if I'm pronouncing that wrong, published a paper in Science arguing that reason was, in fact, sufficient to undercut religiosity. They said that just arming people with rationality will lead them away from faith. But since then, enough researchers have failed to replicate those findings that both he and Noren Zion have disavowed that paper. But despite that, it continues to be used by a lot of people in the atheist world as proof that atheism is the inevitable outcome of a rational worldview. The article I'm talking about, which you can find on OnlySky.com, by the way, is in many ways Gervais chastising we science-minded atheist commentators for not keeping up with the science. And as noble and important a goal as that is, in so doing, I'd say he overstates the case by enough that I have to point it out, right? So in the 2010 paper, they tested two possibilities, right? And I'm just going to directly quote from the article, quote, first, that individual differences in rational thinking would predict atheism. And second, that experimental nudges to think more rationally would promote atheism, end quote. Now, in their paper, originally, they found support for both positions. Gervais and Noren Zion eventually disavowed those findings, but to be clear, only the latter proposition was actually disproven. Current research still shows that rationality can serve as a predictor of atheism, but even that correlation is significantly less robust than the original paper suggested. Uh, what's more, apparently it gets even smaller when you expand your sample outside of the U.S., and even more important to atheists who want to use it to undercut faith traditions, it disappears entirely when you're talking about people who were heavily indoctrinated into religion as children. Now, I, I do need to add an important caveat that Gervais kind of tucks into a footnote. The studies he's basing those conclusions on mostly use the same measure for rational thinking. Other measures tend to show a much stronger correlation. Of course, the other measure he gives us an example is just asking people to subjectively rate their own rationality which isn't great, but that's not the only other measure that shows a more robust correlation. And regardless, one's religiosity, as near as I can tell, is self-reported in all cases, right? So it's not like that wouldn't be valid, e even if all it shows is that people who value rationality more are more likely to be atheists, which self-reporting absolutely shows. It undercuts the hell out of the blanket statement that, quote, rational atheism is more or less a myth, end quote, which he says in the article. I, hell, that's kind of the thesis statement of the whole article. So yeah, I think he overstates his case in the article, but that's not to say that he misstates his case. There's still a really important point at the heart of this whole thing. The idea that simple rationality will be sufficient to lead people away from faith is exactly why so many atheists get pissed when you start bringing social justice issues into atheist activism. It's why so many atheists think that we don't have to build welcoming communities, construct appealing narratives, or find affirmative things to fight for. 
Gervais' early research has been used by a lot of prominent atheists to argue that all of that is window dressing to the larger goal of just getting people to snap the fuck out of their irrational beliefs. Reason isn't enough, and it never was. I, I mean, many of us have stories, and all of us have heard stories about how we, you know, somebody used rationality to find their way to atheism. But if you ask religious people, I'm sure that they'll also share stories about rationality leading them to Jesus, too. Right? Lee Strobel's made a whole fucking career out of saying that. But if you examine those atheist stories about coming to atheism more closely, you're going to find that most of them have parallel stories about, you know, finding accepting communities online or otherwise that embrace that atheism. You'll find, as often as not, that those stories are preceded by social pressure to move away from religion or to disavow their former beliefs. You'll find, in other words, that it wasn't just reason that lured them away. Look, there are a few groups that pride themselves more than movement atheists on following the science. And what the science is telling us is that it's going to take more than simply being right.